serenaded by a didgeridoo. Susan, you're a pagan chaplain, a white witch. Can you give me a charm to ward off, well, old age? Definitely. In the olden days, there used to be lots and lots of little rituals at the full moon, because the moon is the patron of glamour, and it's glamour that we want. So when we need that little bit of extra glamour in our lives, they used to make offerings to the moon goddess. So we may want to sit in front of a bowl of water at midnight, reflecting the moon's rays into the water, and then splash your face with the water while saying, St Anthony, St Anthony. St Anthony, St Anthony. Bring back to me. Bring back to me. What does not belong to thee. What does not belong to thee. And then you can add at the end, my beauty and my youth. My beauty and my youth. Because it was very important in the olden days that you, that you, you know, you had a good figure and you looked nice and so that you could get a husband because you, if you were a wrinkly old woman, people would think that you were a witch and they'd burn you. I was getting desperate, so desperate, that I was prepared to fly halfway around the world just to find the answer. St. Anthony, he may not be, but I was told that if anyone could help me, it was the amazing Kreskin. Kreskin, I've tried everything for the elixir of youth, everything. I've been to a white witch. Oh I've been God. everywhere. Can you please help me, please? Well, you know, you gotta understand something, Faith. I'm a mentalist, you know, I specialize in reading people's thoughts. You, by the way, and I say this to your, all the British audience, you're about the flakiest person I've ever met in my life. I love you. I mean, reading your thoughts is like going on a merry-go-round down a roller coaster. But I think the answer is, whether you take vitamins or I drink a quart of cranberry juice a day, it has to happen up here. The illusion of life is how we see it, and of course, you had the greatest authority on that Oscar Wilde, whom I'm sure you're an ancestor of. Now, I'm going to show you something, how the mind can affect your outlook, how you see yourself in a mirror, how you perceive yourself, and how you feel. And I'm going to have you stand, okay? Yeah. Can you stand up? Yeah. Oh. Let, let me show you how powerful suggestion is, and you're, well, you're not acting this out, Faith. You're going to do this. Put your okay. feet close together. Now, stand straight as you are, and I want you to close your eyes. Tilt your head slightly back. Now, Faith, I'm going to pull you back so you lose your balance. You let yourself just fall into my sh shoulders. Just go back. Don't resist. Fine. Right. I'm going to pull you back again. Just hinge right at the... That's fine. Now, Faith, and this is not an act because I don't do a magic act. This is truly the power of suggestion. Close your eyes. Tilt your head back. And I'm going to show you, if you hold an idea in your mind, how irresistible it is. You're going to be pulled towards me so strongly that I'm going to have to catch you like a magnet pulling you back towards me, back in my direction. So my fingers are pulling you back, back, back. You're coming back, falling, falling. <laughs> Is that not wild face? Jeez. <laughs> now, if you can do that with your mind, you can change your whole outlook on life and youth. Well, I hate to admit it, but I wasn't convinced. But I wasn't gonna give up that easily. I was prepared to try almost anything, no matter how off the wall it was, darling. That, all right. I mean, how can this make me find eternal youth? But what does youth mean? What is your goal in relation to you? To stay young and vibrant, get rid of the wrinkles. So if you start to think about having a young skin and hold a really positive thought in your mind, and then as you go into the water, you'll really relax and let go of all the past, and that will help skin to regain its youthful bloom. Let's have a try. And you just relax and start to unwind. You just surrender to the gentle support of the water. And while Faith is relaxing now, getting used to being touched by this group of people, she's gently beginning to let go. And I can feel the muscles in her neck beginning to relax and wind. Try to think of all the water in your body. Wow. All the water that's around you. Imagine it going through to your skin and revitalizing every little cell. Imagine every little cell's liquid. I feel like a new woman. Do I look any younger? So that's it. The secret of staying young is plenty of relaxation, a sensible diet, and loads of exercise. 
Now, the secret they don't tell you is you're as young as you feel. And can I tell you something? I feel wonderful. Okay! <laughs> and here she is. You look pretty good, too. I tell you what, in that swimming sequence, you didn't need yeah. water wings, really, did you? How would you like your teeth as a necklace? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, I know I've got built in. Yes. Yeah. All right, then. You I knew you'd get that. Yeah. Let's, you look we're going to have anyway. a bust up over this, you realize. <laughs> yeah? It's very titillating today. I get it. I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Just a minute. No. <laughs> Go no, on, all right, then. No, well, no, 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 I'm not going to do another no, point. Yeah. I do, you know people talk about sort of having sort of breast reductions and things like that. Have you ever thought of that, seriously? <laughs> You've been... <laughs> well, um, I well, did... Well, you wouldn't have an enlargement, would you? Yeah. Oh, God, how do you know I haven't? <laughs> no, no, they're definitely all mine. No, I mean, no, I, I didn't want to mess with uh, mm. down there. I'd mess with up here, but would you? not there. Mm. Do you f feel you sort of found the secret of eternal youth in this series? Well, uh, no, you can look, he says, looking at my laughter lines. Thank you very <laughs> much. Well, no, I think it's mind over matter as well. Mm. How you are, if you feel good inside, if you think well, I mean, it, I think it radiates out. It's just when I look in the mirror and I see these laughter lines and I start laughing like this now, I find myself going, <laughs> 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 and, and I, I look so affected, you know, mm. because when I, I caught sight of myself in the mirror and I could just, all I could say is, Hi, ah, you know, these, these big lines. Not, Yours are very, yours are very soft. Yeah, You've got lovely fast. little legs. Uh, what's this thing you got in your hand? Oh, this thing. Yes, this is. Look what's this. Now this is supposed to. Now this is one of the things that helps you to keep young. Wow! 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 Do you think people might know <laughs> you walk along the street with that in? All right, but I done that this morning really? uh, on the train. <laughs> he was doing that, and they were saying, "You look very nice, Faith. You look younger than ever." But I would have thought that would give you lines going along, mm. along the lip. But that's just to exercise. That's the, the to exercise the muscles. Mm. Yeah, the relevant muscles. And did you learn something just now? That didgeridoo business and lying in the pool. And... Oh, it was lovely. Mm. Uh, it was not. No, it was. It was. It was. It was oh. No, it. it Tickled me, you know, because the vibration underwater—it was, mm. was quite nice. Yeah. It was lovely. But no, the, it was quite. One nice. of the keys must be the relaxation factor, mustn't it, to staying young? And uh, if you spend the whole line bit, life being tensed up, and <clears throat> hunched up like yeah. that, you are going to age faster, they, aren't you? Exactly. And they say laughter is the best um, remedy because mm -hmm. it gets the old endorphins going in the brain. I don't know where mine have gone. They've flown out somewhere. <laughs> but that's also thinking. I mean, if you think good thoughts and everything, I think it comes across. I do a lot of exercise. I think that's. Um, uh, I think that's part of it as well. You have to do. As you get older, the old muscles start going. So I have to look after myself. Yeah. I well, after, after after the series, which has been terrific to watch, really enjoyed it. We've, oh. uh, there's been some highlights, so we put a little sort of compilation together for us both to enjoy. Okay. Oh, fabulous. There's that blooming thing in your mouth again. Yeah, that's the, this is it. Mm. But you know what? I've got to say a really big uh, thank you to um, uh, lovely um, Nikki Taylor and oh, also yeah. to Sa um, Ben Noakes. Mm -hmm. They did a fabulous job with the editing there as well. A fabulous producer and director. Thank you, love. You were lovely. <laughs> you were gorgeous. But while we're talking about impressions, yeah. <laughs> um, we've had a few calls from people wanting to... Um, someone here, oh. uh, David from Hull, says he loves to hear your impression of Margaret Thatcher. Please, please, please... Can we hear it? Oh, I, I think I haven't done it for such a long time. Hello, my dear. I may have my faults, but being wrong isn't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Rock on, Maggie. Sounded more like Ilderon, didn't it? <laughs> no, that was fine. And Debbie from Huddersfield in West Yorkshire wants to know uh, who you enjoy impersonating the most. In, but, well, I think the most, the best reaction is. A very no carnation stranger. I love that in the pub, you know. I'm mm. gonna take. A, I've got blue blood in me, you know. <laughs> but our Jack's dead thick. Do you know? I caught him. He was giving one of those, you know, pigeons the kiss of life. <laughs> no, I, the other day. So. She's a gift, isn't she? For she impressionists. is brilliant, yeah. and she's a fabulous lady as well. Yeah, Lovely. and, and uh, presumably you are still working on new impressions all the time. Oh, you have to. There's one when I was in America, in New York, there's a, a lady out there, Frances Pitt, and she talks like that all the time, you know, you know, I'm talking like that, you know, she feels as if she's got one of these in her mouth all the time. Mm. She's good, mm. and a very funny lady. Can I just talk very seriously to you, because I know you're, you're devastated at the loss of your friend Marty Kane. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, Marty. Um, well, she was. I mean, I think when, when uh, you know, they made Marty, they broke the mold, because... She was one of the nicest people in the business. Mm -hmm. When she was doing her 
as, you know, new faces, she'd uh, go out beforehand, even though she was getting herself together for the sh You know how it is, emotion mm. for you as well, mm. everybody, you know, before the camera, you're all emotional. And she'd go out and she'd go to the, all, all the contestants and she'd give them a little hug and love them and say, hey, you're all right. Don't worry, love. Mm. You'll be all right, love. I'll be. And do you know what? See these earrings? I'm wearing these to... I mean, I don't generally wear flashy yeah. earrings like this during mm. the day. But I admired them. She had the most amazing black dress on. And I said, you look stunning, Marty. You look fabulous on camera. And those earrings and that brooch, you look really... And do you know what? Wow. I was going out of the door, and she came running up to me, and she said, "Me, Archer, don't open them till you get the... And she'd, give, she'd take them off, oh, and she'd give me... You know. Bless her. Yeah. Oh, dear Wonderful old Marty. Lady. And just uh, finally, how's Danielle, your daughter? Oh, Danielle, she's 17, a big yard dog. She's just passed her, she's just passed her driving test. She is my baby. Great still stuff. my baby. Well, give her our love, and thanks very much for coming to see us oh, today. It's thank been you, great Nick. to see you. Thank that you. is it for today. Have a great weekend. Be sure to join us on Monday with London's burning star, Sean Blower, sets our screens alight with details of his real-life drama. Ainsley soaks up the atmosphere in the Turkish town of Bodrum. Roland Riveron's discovering how to deal with troublesome teenagers. We've a blockbuster of a phone-in with the right W-R-I-T-E answers to writing a bestseller. We'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. Thanks to Faith very much. Thank see you. Bye-bye. Disneyland Paris. That's the Videopolis. Inside there, just a few moments, an amazing show about to take place. Pebble Mill special, Children in Need. We've got Ant and Deck, pop superstars. We've got uh, musicians, magicians, Mickey, Minnie, and a world superstar as well, Diana Ross. Mustache. Sunday night on BBC One and at 7. I'm King Arthur and I make the rules. Attack! King Arthur, or is it just William going potty? Another superb collection of showstoppers at 7.30 with Gary Wilmot and guests. The vicar's expecting somebody famous at 8.30. He's here! But can she keep the place?